welcome back to my channel. I am Heather Teedman and I am a realtor here in the Lexington area of South Carolina. I'm powered by eXp Realty. I have to say that so I don't get in trouble. But I just wanted to hop on here and talk about a couple things that you need to know um, before moving to South Carolina. Um, this is going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to do a quick rundown. But before you move here, there are some things that you need to prepare for in advance. Um, number one is going to be child care. Currently, we are having a child care shortage, as a lot of the nation is facing. Um, so getting into daycares can be very difficult. That is something you would want to call around, interview, set up tours if you would like to do that um, well in advance. A lot of our daycares here um, have wait lists. And because of that, you want to get on those wait lists as soon as possible so you can get your spot as soon as possible. Um, because you don't want to get here, you get started in a new job, and but you have no one to help take care of your children. So just something that you would want to prepare for in advance. Um, number two, speaking of jobs, is getting a job. Um, a lot of people do come here with a job already in place, which is great. Um, I have heard a lot of I guess complaints per se about how long it takes our jobs typically to get back to you. Um, they are a little slower. So you put in an application. A lot of people from other areas tend to hear back relatively quickly. Uh, that does not appear to be the case here. Sometimes it's taking three, four, five, six weeks to even get an interview scheduled um, to hear back at all from our jobs. Um, we do have a lot of jobs here, you know, a lot of factories, a lot of healthcare, a lot of call centers, um, you know, tons of trade jobs, all kinds of jobs like that, but they do take a little bit longer. So you do want to prepare in advance um, to have those applications in so you can go ahead and get on that list to get ready to make the move here. Also, if you plan on buying a house here, going ahead and getting a job here. As long as you have that job offer letter with a start date and a salary, generally speaking for the most lenders, that is sufficient enough for you to get a home loan. There's other factors at play, so keep that in mind, um, but something to keep in mind about. And thirdly, um, if you do plan on buying a house here, give yourself some time. Uh, it's getting better. It's not as crazy, but if you are under a, an extreme time constraint, keep in mind that it, it is taking a little bit of time to find the house that you want, get under contract, and then close. Uh, some people are able to do it in as little as 30 to 40 days. Um, if you're able to, you know, find the house, put an offer in, go under contract immediately. And that has been happening more and more recently. We're not having quite as many bidding wars, thankfully. It is just thankfully. Um, but there are still bidding wars out there. So something to keep in mind when you're doing your home search. Um, so you want to prepare for that. Give yourself ample amount of time, um, to be prepared for that. Uh, thing here is I know in some states like in New York, it can take you 60 to 90 days after you go under contract to close. So it is kind of, you know, it's a little difficult to line up. When you come here, once you go under contract, it's typically 30 days to close. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, definitely some workarounds, but something to keep in mind that once you do go under contract here, it does go relatively quickly as long as everyone does what they need to be doing. Um, yeah, so that is my video for the day. It's not a very long one. I have been very busy this week. My kids started school. Um, some of you guys follow me on Facebook, so you know that my daughter got hurt and had have stitches this week. So it's just been a crazy week. I don't know what's going on. I'm hearing a lot of people have not had the greatest week. So hopefully it'll get better next week. We're fingers crossed. But if you like these videos and want to see more videos like this, if you could like and subscribe, drop a comment below any questions you have about moving to this area, any neighborhoods you want to see, any parts of the town that you would like, you know, me to tour. Whatever you're wanting, feel free to drop a comment below if you would like to do it anonymously. Um, they said for to me. You can also send me an email. My um, 
contact information will be down in the description below. Also, if you just found me on YouTube and you are interested in moving to the Lexington area of South Carolina, down below in my link tree will be a link to my Facebook group called Moving to Lexington, South Carolina, and there's tons tons of information in that group that will be helpful in making your move here a bit smoother. All right. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you guys today and I will talk to you soon. Bye.